Matthew Bossomley, I'm head of the breeding program here at the National Breeding Centre um, and our job is to um, breed lots of these lovely cute things um, to become guide dogs of the future um, and so it's a serious business, lovely as they are um, we have a wonderful, wonderful group of volunteers that, um, hello, that look after um, our breeding mums and dads for us um, the puppies mostly are, are bred and reared in the, in the family, normal family homes where they're exposed to all the sights and sounds that you'd expect in a family home like the hoovers and washing machines and dogs and cats and what have you. Um, and then they come into the National Breeding Centre here between six and seven weeks of age and they're here for about a week where they have their microchips and vaccinations um, and a vet check to make sure that they're fit and healthy before they go on to the next stage of their journey which is onto their puppy walking um, and to their puppy walking family who are again another group of wonderful, wonderful volunteers that do a fantastic job for us. Whilst they're here, um, they have uh, a form of puppy assessment um, and that's really just to try and for us to try and determine their sort of um, intrinsic personality, their character if you like um, and how they, they might shape up as a future guide dog. So we do various assessments like we have a tunnel that they can run through, a little ramp that they go over. Um, we might get them to see a little piece of vet bed on the end of a string and pull it along um, to see how distracted they are by the environment and more importantly how responsive they are to a handler. So we're getting an idea as to their, their general character and that gives us the ability to then place them to the most appropriate puppy walker that we can in terms of their environment and in terms of their um, family home circumstances so we maximize the potential of all our puppies.